Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Um, today I would like to show you some flowers, but first let's look at my mommy because she's So it's actually pretty nice outside today and yesterday it was like 70 degrees so today it's not as warm so I kind of regret wearing a tank top and shorts but it's okay. In the past several days my mom has been gardening a lot so I wanted to show you the fruits of her labor. Look at these plants. We have a really big yard, so, well, most people can't go outside. We go outside a lot, or I don't necessarily, but my family does. And look at all the things. I believe those are daffodils. I'm not a plant expert, but these are chives. They are edible, however, I'm not going to eat one right now because I know that our dog likes to pee on them. So definitely wash before you chop. We have some of these little bushes. I'm not sure what they are exactly. Um, you can hear the birds are out now. This is called a... This is sage. It has a little sticker in it, so I know what it is. And then this is English thyme. And there's going to be some peppermint growing right here. You can see how that looks. And we've got some more of these. And there's some blue flowers. I don't really know what they are, but they look pretty. And these are some purple ones about to come up. There's actually flowers outside of this year. But the big yellow ones are very cheerful looking. Just, I appreciate spring very much. Even though I'm not really going outside that much the past couple days, I've gone outside and just conversed with my mother while she gardens a little bit. To get some sunshine. Because I'm very lazy, but I do like talking with people, so... I do that quite often. And, uh, yes. Oh, it's a woodpecker. Okay. I was hearing a tapping sound and I was really confused about what it was. We've got some natural fertilizers, so just don't mind that. <laughs> And some little viney friends. I'm not going to touch it because I don't know what it is, but it's a viney friend. And then we've got a little rock garden over here. <laughs> um, oh, the grass is wet. <laughs> so there's some more of those blue ones, and we have a lot of whatever this is. I really, I don't know that much about plants, but... I just know they're really pretty, and they're great for humanity. So, this is like what people can see from the road if they drive by your house. This is, um, I don't know what it is, but yes, plants. <laughs> I think this one looks really cool right here. I just like the color of it. This one is a rose. It's a spiny boy. And um, that's some sort of fairy house thing that my sister is making, but yeah. Okay. And um, let's just get some footage of the ground for a minute. So over here we have some more pretty flowers. 
Um, the crocuses are already sort of squished looking. These ones, the rain was a very <clears throat> aggressive on them last night, apparently. And uh, I don't know if you heard that, but it just thundered. Here we have some more plants. Oh, and look at all of this moss. I just love moss. Moss is great, and it's covering so much of this ground over here. And we have a tree because trees. See the little buds on the tree? I can't really even see what's showing up on my screen right now, so I'm sorry about that, but yeah. Let's take a trip across the yard because you guys don't really see the outside of my house very much. You can see how not in shape I am by how much I'm breathing right now, but can you hear all the outside sounds? Because the birds are really talking. Talking a lot. And if you can kind of see over here, we have our trebuchet, our fire pile, and my brother's go-kart track that he has driven through the yard. So, yeah. That's cool. Alrighty. My mom has been working in this garden a lot. So I've come over here to sit and watch her garden. Because I'm, yeah. Lazy, we established that previously, but here we have that one didn't enjoy the rain either very much, but these ones I believe are hyacinths and they're so bright. They're so bright. I want to paint them is what my mom always says anyhow. I don't think I'm very good enough to paint them, but they look so cool. There it is. There we go. They look so cool. How close can I get? I like them so much. And then we have these stumps that are still kind of alive. My mom wants to put stuff to grow in the little hollow out bit in the middle, which I think is a cool idea. I don't know what this guy is, but he's something. And these are pink hyacinths, I think. Over here she's got some sticks that have the labels in them. So, these are, yeah, these are the pink pearl hyacinths, and that one, um, beyond it, is the Brumera Siberian Bugloss, and she planted that one yesterday, or two days ago, because I was over here while I was watching her do it. She's got some sawdust here in the like rock area to try and help the weeds not grow right here where it's hard to pull them up. These are some more of the, either they're daffodils or daylilies. But you can see all these little plants and she's been digging up this dirt to make it soft for them. My mom is super like adorable when she's talking to plants. It's very cute. <laughs> You've got the more like wild, unkempt um, side of this little garden over here. These were the ones that were here already this year, I believe. I just, yeah. If you can't go outside, at least open your window because the smell of the outsideness is just amazing. The smell of outside is just great. I'm going to take you guys over this way now, um, just to look at some of the like, more wilder bits, and it's going to rain soon, so I have to go back inside, but we've got this little cedar tree, and I think we're going to have to either transplant it or um, get rid of it, but then we have all of these spiny vines, and I think there's some sort of berry, I'm pretty sure they're raspberries, because we usually get raspberries in the summer. This is like, um, the people who owned this house before us put a bunch of gardens in, but Mama's, she got the, um, Bulgarian sub something. The thing with the weird name that I just said a couple minutes ago was over here. That's where she got it from. Because this garden is going to be put back into the yard. It's going to be like becoming naturalized. 
because my dad wants to have more yard even though we have so much yard um, but here's an even smaller cedar tree and look at the moss on this rock okay first of all this moss I love this moss look at the little small tiny leaves the leaves are so small and then this moss just looks cool. Yes, there's also some bird poop on it. But the moss. Look at the moss. <laughs> I have no idea if this video is going to be at all very good or not, but... It's a good thing you can't see me right now because I look very crazy. Um, quick self-promo. If you check out my Instagram, I've been doing some makeup stuff lately and it's actually kind of cool. The moss in this log is just so great. I love it. <laughs> the moss in this log. And these are little ferns. They're not like specifically ferns, but they're kind of ferns, you know? There's so many rocks too. And look a nest. Let's go look at the nest. It's like I'm exploring my own yard because I don't go outside. See, um, there's nothing in it right now, I don't think. There's some spiny things and I'm wearing shorts, so I don't want to get too close, but nest. See? I've been now covered with cobwebs. This is wonderful. Um, look, more moss. I love moss. It's all over the ground here under these trees. I wish our whole yard was like just moss and um, ferns and little flowers and everything, clovers. You can see all these tracks are from my brother's go-kart because he uh, likes to drive it through the yard. And see, we have a little swamp land over there. I don't want to get too dirty, but I'll show you the little stream. When I was younger and actually went outside, I played in the stream all the time. You can see that. It drains out into the river over there. Um, water. I'm being attacked by bugs, but... I like nature, but I don't love bugs. I understand that they're important for nature to work, they're not my favorite. Yes, there is a lot of trash, but it's okay. We'll get it later. Moss. <laughs> I laugh like a crazy person. Look, more moss. I just love moss, okay? Don't judge me. Actually, feel free to judge me, but there's nothing wrong with loving moss. This is the bridge. Um... We don't really walk on it right now, but if we did, we could go over there, and the fence is where our yard ends, but there's a little bit of the cross the stream area. You can see, like, there's so much moss and the green stuff growing over there. Look at those plants. I don't think I can zoom on this video, but look at all those green plants. Outside is great right now. Outside is cool. But both literally and figuratively, like, if you can go outside, go outside. I say that having been sitting in my room for three days, but look at the plants. Plants. My outside smells kind of like fire because everyone's been burning their leaves. And then also our house is heated with wood. And there's our little cave thing that we play in sometimes, but you have to be careful because there's a barbed wire fence right behind it like I said I don't know if this footage is any good and if you guys can see what I'm seeing but plants and this is like a wood pile that we've been like it's demolished that's our fire pile we have a tree house over there I don't really go in there anymore but again when I was younger I went outside way more than I do now and uh yeah, the raccoons like to poop in it, but other than that, <laughs> it's 
It's actually pretty nice. It came with the house, but at our old house, we also had a tree house. Now, I don't know why I'm talking with a lisp right now, because I don't have one, but... <laughs> moss! Look at the moss! <laughs> We've got our stream. We have our, our yard is three acres, so we got a lot of it, which is great when you want to play, but not so great when you need to mow it, which you have to do <laughs> at least once a week in the summer. But it's not my job, so that's okay. And my brother gets paid for it, so it's fine. I don't have any diseases, I just have uh, allergies. This is the tree house. It's perfectly sturdy and fine. Like both my parents can be in it at the same time, so it holds a lot of weight. Like my dad was in it before he lost like half his body weight from dieting because yeah. Moss. <laughs> also, just look at this tree root. It's so cool. It's just so cool. I don't know what that cloth thing on the ground is. <sighs> ah, spider web. Ew, gross. I really don't want to get bitten by a spider. I don't think I can handle the responsibility of being spider. We can see this cute little area. I think it's even lower than it was when we moved here. Well, like, obviously it is because erosion. But it just looks so cool. So naturalized. Some people would say that's bad, like you should make your yard more like, you know, pavement and organized, but I think it looks good like this. Got some rocks. There's a tree. I think we cut it down, but I don't know. That looks kind of beaverish. And all of these stalks that you can see are from plants that grow here. That's a cat, and it's not ours, and it's scared of me. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the cat, but these are stalks from plants. Lichen. It's kind of like moss. If you don't touch it, it's cool, but it's kind of slimy, so don't touch it. Um, but the stalks are from plants that grow here during the spring and summer. They haven't grown up yet, but they're the little baby ones. You can kind of see some uh, the cattails get really big, actually. And... Um, there's also stinging nettles that actually come into like a forest area because we just sort of let the swamp pond thing do its own thing. We leave it alone and it just, it just lives. So stinging nettles do sting, but hence their name. I didn't know there was a tree there. I really don't go outside. There's just a tree in the middle of the swamp. Okay, cool. Um, oh look, there's another cat. Just chilling in our swamp, and that's nice. Our neighbors have free range cats. I'm allergic to cats, but not that much, so it's okay. This is the compost pile, which when we use it, goes on those gardens, but those gardens aren't really doing anything right now. And sometimes we get rhubarb in that little area right there. That's our neighbor's horses. Um, my sister really likes them, but I don't. Like, I don't hate the horses, I just don't hang out with them, you know? She does. When you go outside, you gotta be very watchful for those things. Stingy nettles. Look, see if you can hear the water. So gross. Oh look here, you can see this is what stinging nettles look like. Right there. That's what a stinging nettle. And there and there and there. Basically the really pointy leaf with the little red bits. The red bits go away when it gets bigger, but those are stinging nettles. Don't touch them. But they make good tea if you can touch them. My sister can. She apparently doesn't get stinging nettles. At least not on her hands. If you have enough calluses, they don't hurt you. Yeah, this is our swampland. Okay, we can look at the uh, 
business shed. We built that over two summers. I helped. I was on the roof a lot. Ha. I do things sometimes, okay? I'm not completely lazy. But I am out of breath from walking around for like three minutes. Excuse me. Just basically some plants, some leaves. Also, over here is where we dump the guinea pig litter and the bunny litter and the um, ashes from our fireplace because A, it's wet, so it will keep them from like firing up. But also when we dig them into the ground, it'll make this dirt over here like super, super fertile. And um, then the plants will grow. These are supposed to be vegetable garden areas, but um, we haven't done anything with them yet. This one kind of looks like there's a dead body in it, but I promise you there isn't. It's just the way the plants are growing. But here's another little tree. This is like my brother's workshop now. My dad was building it to be a shed for himself and then, oops, now it's actually for my brother. So that's cool. Some of the siding's coming off a little bit and um, I feel like they need to know about that. So I'm gonna let them know about that. The door is not perfect, but it's okay. Um, that's our turtle. It's not a real turtle. Didn't know if you could tell that. Some big trees. Ooh, little buds on this one. Look at them. Tree. But. Yeah. Oh, this is our sandbox that we don't use anymore. So we just take the sand out of it to use for other stuff. And it's pretty much just a wild garden now. But you can see the remnants of what we used to do. The fossils of the plastic truck. Um, yes. Trees. Um, my brother twisted his ankle trying to climb a tree with these ropes, but we keep doing it anyway. I love this kind of tree. Like, because it can be sharp, but it's kind of like, you know, um... It's not a hippopotamus, what is it? Uh, I can't remember the name, but those things, hedgehogs, where you pet them one way and they're soft, but you pet them the other way and they're not. That's, that's what these are. Is this still recording? Yes, okay, good. Look, a bird. Can you see the bird? It's a bird. Okay. Um, oh, this is our shed when we had a goat. It lived there. We thought we could get the dog to chill in it, but he doesn't like it. He just pees on it all the time. And, um, yep. That's about it. Oh, also, we put the ashes right there. <laughs> There's just like a mountain of ashes, but that's fine. Let's go back inside. See the rabbit again? How is she doing? Eat this grass. No, I only have grass right now. I'm sorry, I need the trees. Oh no, it's too thin. It's not enough grass.
enjoyed that video tour of my yard and the outside and uh, stay inside but like if you can go outside also go outside contradicting messages I know but there's no all right have a nice day